Well, is that not what the <laughs> said? It's my uh, job. I'm that just I, following orders. That I don't know. Well, you should because you're repeating history. I have no idea. Well, then maybe you should educate yourself. No, uh, 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 you're not allowed maybe. to touch somebody's vehicle. You maybe. know that? Maybe you should mind your. No, own no, business. no. Listen, you're not allowed to touch somebody else's vehicle, right? right? Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to take another look at Artur as he harasses a parking enforcement officer, accusing him of selling his soul for, and I quote, a bowl of soup. So let's get into this. So sir, why are you taking pictures of the license plate? It's for payment, sir. This is a payment block. It's illegal. You need payment. Uh, who, who called you? It's illegal for them to stand around and wait for the time to so, run out. So in what world is it illegal for a parking enforcement officer to ticket somebody who has passed their allotted time? Park near a hospital almost anywhere and see how fast that ticket hits your windshield. I'll tell you a little story. I parked right down the road from a hospital and I gave, and I will literally quote the description, only 2.7 meters of the required three meters between the bumper and an unmarked crosswalk, which is apparently anywhere where the asphalt and the, the sidewalk touch without any other indications at all. But waltzing between the bumper and that imaginary crosswalk was apparently not enough space. And I still managed to get a ticket. Yes, I spat on the ticket, but I paid it, damn it. Who called you to be here, sir? And are you happy with doing what you're doing? I mean, the style. It's my job, sir. Well, is that not what the said? It's my uh, job. I'm just I, following orders. That I don't know. Well, you should because you're repeating history. Now, I can't begin to tell you how offensive it is to compare getting a parking ticket to an international human rights tragedy. So I would like to start on behalf of me, the audience, and this parking enforcement officer by saying, frankly, get f***ed, Arthur. I have no idea. Well, then maybe you should educate yourself. No, uh, 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 you're not allowed maybe. to touch somebody's vehicle, you maybe. know that? Maybe you should mind your no, own No, 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 listen, you're not allowed to touch somebody else's vehicle, right? right? Yep. Well, you, you, you just scratched this car. I did, eh? Yes, you did. Bitch. Right. On camera, so you're... Lawbreaker, oh, but oh, you're willing to oh, do it in the oh, name of oh, law. Oh, Kicking somebody else's vehicle. It's against the law. Of course it is. I mean, he just... He just attacks somebody else's property. And, and... And for what? For a bowl of soup? For a 20 bucks per hour? 30 bucks per hour? I need to point out, Artur, that the rest of us have to work for our money. We can't just go and grift off of our community to pay out both our legal fees and our privately chartered flights to America. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there should be a card popping up top that you can go check out. Also, in case you're extra incompetent, Artur, and we both know you are, I've got an educational video for you. Pay attention, old man. Park Plus pay machines are conveniently located on each block. When you park in a Park Plus zone, make note of the zone number you're parked in. Find the closest Park Plus pay machine and enter your zone number. Next, enter your license plate. You can pay for parking with coins or by credit card. Seriously? Selling your soul to the devil? Seriously? That's how low you have fallen? For a bowl of soup? Why are you here harassing people that are fighting for your rights and the rights of your children? Why did you come to Canada? You know, Artur, what really pisses me off is you coming here pretending you share my ideals and then using it to guilt trip this man. I want to say that I am fully supportive of immigration and I want everybody to be able to come over here and join this big melting pot. But Artur, you don't melt. You're like that shitty byproduct that just floats around in the mass. You're like the zinc screw that fell in with the stainless ones. You look pretty at first, but after a while that coating starts to wear off and you're just a rusty, shitty screw. I imagine there's women that probably have... <laughs> 
you emigrated from somewhere just like me. Why? Because wherever you came from, that's exactly what they're doing, right, to you. I came here because the people like you were doing that to me. And I was sick and tired of it. And I came to Canada for freedom. And now another guy like you is doing the same thing to me. And I'm sick of it. Aw, poor Artur being persecuted by the parking authorities. They're coming after him and his Ford Fiesta or whatever a guy with maxi pad wings that big drives. All I know is that God's commandments include thou shall not steal. Well, Artur, that is a publicly funded parking center that is paid for by not just your taxes, but everybody else's taxes too. So what you are advocating for is theft from other taxpayers so that you can promote your cause. Why don't you just pay for it with your church funds? So I'm asking you, why are you doing this and why are you selling your soul for nothing? Because bowl of soup is worth nothing. It's a serious question. Why you came here? Why you came to Canada? I don't ever talk to you. Of course you don't. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> you didn't talk to me at all. You're like masked bandits, just like those guys here. Look at this. I mean, this is so pathetic. Mask bandits sitting in a car waiting for what? For what? For a bowl of soup? For a bowl of soup? You know what I mean? Like for 30 bucks per hour? Money comes. Money happens, you know. Well, money happens for you because they're giving it up to you. You're not giving it up to them. I do not take a salary from the church. You take it right out of the park. No, 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 no. Just unbelievable. Humanity are the lowest. For a bowl of soup, for nothing, for, uh, for, for, for $30 per hour, $25 per hour. He came to this country and he is now with his own hands destroying it. What kind of a future his children are going to have and daddy is doing that to them. So pathetic. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Jesus! People are doing this to people. And I think that's the saddest part of the story. There's Archer there. He is, uh, he is one of the heroes, Jesse. Jesse was threatened uh, today that uh, firefighters are going to do what? Uh, they came to uh, put out our fires. Or they threatened to put out our fires. Uh, they can put out the physical fires, but they cannot put out the fire that burns deep in our heart. Uh, the fire that Quentin, that has a desire for freedom. That they may take our fires, but they'll never take our freedom. <laughs> Why do you think they want to put down the fire? I think they want to make it as uncomfortable for us as possible uh, and to prevent us from uh, peaceful protest, our God-given right to protest. That's exactly what they want. They want people feeling alone, separated, depressed. <laughs> and then they will be happy. But people coming together, uh, sticking with each other, standing for each other, that's um, unacceptable. Do you think that they want to put down the fire because there is actual scientific proof that being warm spreads <laughs> <laughs> Quite likely. We're incubating <laughs> Yeah, you think that's the reason? Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> that with the fire, there is a greater risk of spread. <laughs> Spre For sure. You're spreading oh, happiness. <laughs> that's unacceptable. You're spreading warmth. Jo oh, you said it. Where is the bylaw and the police? You said the word, the magic word. You're not allowed to say it. You're not allowed to be happy. You are allowed to be depressed, <laughs> dependent on the government, owning nothing, and then being happy. That's the official line. Damn, Arthur, you have a super fan here. Listen, I don't know what your style is, but we support all lifestyles on this channel. So just pay attention to what you got because I think somebody's looking for his Mr. Gray.
Well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Hit the like button. Think about being a subscriber. And uh, thank you very much to my members and Patreons for supporting me and helping make this happen. Have a good night, everybody.